So for those of you that don't know, I was the girl that got assaulted in the viral video going around that happened in Nando's. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's your boy, Yeshi, the one and only. And today, guys, we are on the request line. Okay, so I've received some requests in my emails and many places, but this one came through to my email. I'm not going to read out the person's name. Okay, maybe they want to be, uh, you know, anonymous, but uh, the initial is SL. He said, or she said, I don't know. Hi, Shady, comment on this, please. Okay, uh, the title was, he said, Muslim man slapping girl. Okay, let's see what this video says. Guys, make sure you smash like, subscribe, give me some love. Let's get this one started. So for those of you that don't know, I was the girl that got assaulted in the viral video going around that happened in Nando's. Um, Wait, let's find the video. Wait. The man was with his family, he was with a wife and a child, and he just chose to slap a, a waitress. Like, what happened? Like, what would make him just do that? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I mean, even if someone gets your order wrong, yeah, you shouldn't just slap them like that. If they say something to you, I think you should report them to uh, the supervisor or the manager, speak to someone, report it. But to slap someone like that, that is very demeaning. Really, really demeaning. Trust me. Yeah, that is sad. I mean, if I was a girl's boyfriend and I see someone, a customer slap my, my girlfriend like that or my sister or my daughter, uh, it's not going to hear the last of it. Anyway. So for those of you that don't know, I was the girl that got assaulted in the viral video going around that happened in Nando's. Um, oh, look at her. She's very pretty as well. Really, really pretty. She seemed really calm. Um, before I get into what actually happened, I'd like to thank everyone for all the kind messages and the support I've been receiving. Okay. And I'd also like to clarify why I'm making a video. It's okay. probably going to be the first and last video I make on this. I'm someone who values my privacy. I don't think the situation would have garnered as much attention as it has, but the support's been overwhelming. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's see. The When she was bringing the food, the woman just grab the plate it has but the support's been overwhelming doesn't make sense to me So with all the attention that the video has gotten and seeing everything in the news about violence against women, violence against young women, violence mm -hmm. against girls, yeah. I think it's important to speak up about what actually took place. Okay. Lastly, before explaining, I want to say what's more concerning than the man's behaviour was the failure of the Metropolitan Police and their conduct. I was grossly let down by them. They've reopened the investigation now, thanks to all of the support and the attention it's been receiving online, and for that I'm grateful. However, I was really disappointed and let down with what happened. Wait, the police let her down? Oh, okay, it's getting interesting. And at the time with the police, which I'll get into. Okay. So the man's come in with the wife, I assume, and the baby, and they were sat down by a new colleague. The new colleague didn't give them a high chair, usually you're supposed to ask, but I think they assumed that they were just going to be given one anyway. That's when they got my attention because they were sat right behind me. My back was faced towards them. They got my attention. It was the lady initially, and she, and she already seemed irritated. Um, they asked me for the high chair. I started bringing it. Midway through me bringing it, I realised we're not allowed to put it in that area because that's where we run the food. We run the food back and forth in that area, and that was my station for that day. Okay. So midway through me bringing it, I realised we're not allowed to put it there. I told them I'd double check with the supervisor, which I did. The supervisor said we're not allowed. So, so I relayed that information back to the couple. At this point, the man got quite aggressive with me. He started swearing at me, saying I'm wasting his effing time to sit him somewhere the F else then. At that point, I said I'd be happy to sit them in another section, but to just give me a second. At that point, he said, you're a little effing girl. Why the F do you work here? Sit me the sum somewhere the F else. So it's then I said, let me get my manager involved because I didn't want to deal with that. So my manager's come now. The guy's still shouting, being aggressive, arguing. The manager has just sat him somewhere else with a baby chair. I asked why we're still serving him to the manager. I was ignored and that was that. 
some time passes and we notice that t the table is clear now no one's sitting there we all just assume they left the restaurant the managers asked me where they've gone i said i don't know we've all assumed they've left i'm continuing to do my job and i get a thing on my screen to go to a specific table it was a table in the corner of the restaurant to run their food so as i'm going and on my way to give the food to this table i notice that there's two police officers already in the restaurant waiting for their food so i've gone to this table now and as I'm approaching this table, I notice that it's the couple with the baby. Okay. As I'm putting the food down, I ask them, because they have moved basically without telling anyone, without informing anyone, usually you're supposed to tell someone um, at Nando's. I, I place the food down and I ask, are you not using the high chair then? Because they've moved by themselves without taking the high chair. It's at that point the man has picked up the plate and whacked me on the side of my head with it. Wait, 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 wait. She was trying uh, to show good customer service, like asking for feedback about the chair that they requested for, and he got triggered by that. Are you not using the high chair then? Because they've moved by themselves without taking the high chair. It's at that point the man has picked up the plate and whacked me on the side of my head with it. And there was Disgusting. cutlery on the plate too. I didn't register what just happened. I, re I remembered that the police were in the restaurant. So as you can see in the video, that's when I said, I'm going to the police. I walk off and I go to one of the officers. There were two officers present, a male and a female officer. Mm. I first go to the female officer and I said, this man's hit me on the head with a plate. Sorry, before that, I'd just like to also add that at this point, the wife is now chasing behind me, calling me a fat B word. Oh, 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 so, so now, They've ganged up on her. It's actually the wife and the husband that are in on it. I thought maybe the wife would try to calm the whole situation down, but the wife was adding f more fuel to the fire. Interesting. At, that, at this point, the wife is now chasing behind me, calling me a fat B word and fat. repeating that as she's chasing me. With the officer now, this man's just hit me on the head. She didn't see... Wait, what... wait, wait, wait. Think about it. Think about it. Think about how traumatized she will be. They're actually chasing her and calling her those words at work. Do you know how demeaning that can be? This is disgusting. Sitting behind me, calling me a fat B word and repeating that as she's chasing me. Well, the officer Dali. now, this man's just hit me on the head. She didn't seem bothered. She said, go speak to my colleague, which was the male officer sitting down waiting for his food. I go to him and I say, this man's assaulted me. He's hit me on the head with a plate. He said, who? This fellow over here? And I said, yeah. He said, okay. And he takes the guy outside. And my manager takes me to the back office. Whilst I'm in the office, I can see from the CCTV screens that the police let the guy go. So the male officer who took him outside basically let him wander off without taking any of his details, without taking any statements, without checking the CCTV. And I could see on a police officer just let a man off after someone reported this. What would this man have said to him that scared the police officer shitless? Officer who took him outside basically let him wander off without taking any of his details, without taking any statements, without checking the CCTV. And I could see on another screen that the female officer was having a laugh with the wife and playing with the baby. At this point, my managers have seen the CCTV. They agree that this man needs to be arrested and they, they ask for the police to come in to view the CCTV. The police have now viewed the CCTV. They've realised they made a mistake, but the male officer asked me what I wanted to do. I said I wanted to press charges. Good, good. The officers are now telling me that I'm not allowed to press charges or that I can't press charges because I'd have to go in front of a jury of 12 to convince them that I was unprovokedly attacked. And apparently the man has told the police officer that I threatened to punch him in the face. As you can see in the video, he's about a six foot something man, quite built. I'm just about five foot. I, it doesn't make sense. I point out to the officers that in the CCTV footage you can see that at no point there was there was there was not enough time for me to have even threatened the man before I got assaulted. Mm -hmm. To which the officer replied, "Well, there's no audio attached to the CCTV, so you can't prove that." Wait, it, it sounds like the police officer is trying to defend them. Like, am I am I the only one getting this? Why is the police officer defending them? Why? What is this? A police officer needs to be neutral. 
we go around in circles for about an hour or some what felt like five hours basically of them telling me what do i want to do i said i want to press charges they yes. said i can't and gave me reasons as to why i couldn't invalid reasons for my, I, I, huh I, wait she needs to also sue them for this sue them for saying this to her okay for trying to 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 deprive her of her rights i filed a complaint against the officers a couple of days later good their supervisor got back to me and basically said they're humans and they made a mistake at work the same way you can make a mistake at work and the oh stop this way guys i'm sorry i'm posting stop this stop this even the supervisor is in on it oh my god what has happened to the law enforcement in the uk Called a complaint against the officers a couple of days later their supervisor got back to me and basically said they're humans and they made a mistake at work the same way you can make a mistake at work and the officer the male officer called me back also and basically told me well i couldn't hear or understand what you were saying and that you didn't you didn't tell me that he hit you on the head their supervisor also told me that these officers are very experienced mm. and that due to the commotion and the busyness of the environment that maybe they didn't understand me mm. They also told me nothing could be done about the situation and that the case has to be closed. Since all of the attention it's gotten online, the police have now issued an apology to me and they've opened up an investigation again. The man still hasn't been found as of yet, but they're looking for him. I'd just like to say this it was just a part-time job for me. I'm a uni student and this was just supposed to be me being able to be financially independent. And it's just a shame that safety in a workplace especially for young women isn't something that's promised and and that police being present also doesn't promise you safety yeah i again want to thank everyone for all the kind messages i've been receiving the support has been overwhelming and it means a lot to me and i appreciate everything and i'm glad the case has been reopened again <sighs> this is disgusting so when this video was recommended to me he said muslim man slapped a girl now i want to say this regardless of the person's faith christian buddhist atheist self-believer whatever believe in your faith doesn't matter everybody should be judged on their merits okay we don't care where you're from we don't care what you believe in okay what you see is what you get what you do yeah what you do is what you'll be judged by okay you do a thing bear the consequences of the thing you've done if you work hard for success enjoy your success if you commit a crime enjoy your, your punishment it's easy simple okay <laughs> completely unacceptable okay if you ask if you ask me this is my opinion okay i'm not trying to impose my opinion on anybody else but in my opinion this is unacceptable okay this the, he should have been charged right there and then after she reported or at least the police officer should have checked the cctv should have stopped the man and checked the cctv except if they say maybe they were off duty but if they're in uniform yeah about to have their food then i'm sorry you're a lot you're, you're a law enforcement officer uh you're in uniform you have to be ready at all times okay if you're off without uh if you're off duty we understand that's different okay then you will have a uniform and i'll go to you watch she went to the lady and the lady the lady officer just said to report report to my to my uh to my colleague you're not showing empathy i think one of the uh uh the qualities of a police officer should be to have empathy you should be able to have empathy and be decisive as well have good judgment okay and be able to know how to prioritize what over what okay you need to know that you have to have good judgment call they say you're experienced come on this shows inexperience this is this is, come on look at a young girl um working part-time you know studying and trying you know to you know to just lead a normal life trying to be financially stable okay and then she gets assaulted like this over a very trivial issue and from this from her story the husband and wife were in on it and if you even look at the video like look at the, the body language you can tell that something was off with them both and then the way they just like unleashed their anger on her 
come on, that's unacceptable. I think yeah, when people go out to some, uh, to to restaurants, you need to treat the waiters, the waitresses, the chefs as your maybe like your friend, okay, like acquaintances. So you give them some respect. They need some respect because they serve you the food. Okay, just be nice. Just be a decent, normal human being. Like there's no need to swear at them. If like the waitresses are being rude to you, okay, you can then report them. All right, but not taking the law into your hands and just assault someone. You think you're in a third world country? Even in a third world country, you do that, yeah? <laughs> oh my days. You see things like this that people do, yeah, in the UK and they kind of get away with it. You try these things like this in a third world country, you're done. I mean, they might not, I'm not saying done in the sense that they will kill you, but you get roughed up. They will rough you up proper. Okay, and you wish you 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 were never there. Okay. Anyway, this is disgusting. The police have really let her down. Okay. Uh, uh, apart from an apology, I think she deserves more than that. They need she needs compensation for how the police acted unprofessionally. Okay, and also the other person, whoever it is, that assaulted her. Yeah, assault is not right. I've been assaulted before, and I know how that feels okay it is it's not nice okay i've been assaulted at a workplace is the worst one it's the worst one because there's nothing you can do but if you're assaulted outside work it's different at least you can try to apply a bit of self-defense and then you report it okay but at the workplace you have to be professional because you can get sacked you can't do anything you try anything you get sacked okay they'll say oh that is unethical you've been unprofessional at work you have to be an ambassador of where you work you know what i mean but this is sad really sad and it's a shame that she was let down by the police force yeah it's a big shame yeah big big shame on the police on this one well not on the police uh as a whole unit yeah not on, not on the police as a whole but on those two officers that she reported to it's a big shame on them and they don't deserve to be police officers okay this is wrong this is ridiculous it's a shame Anyway, guys, these are my thoughts. Okay, not anybody else's thoughts. I just feel like things should have been done better because look at how she'll be traumatized. Not nice. What's, got, what's been going on in this country is sad. It just feels unreal. This shouldn't happen. People should be free. People should be safe, all right, to, to go about their business. And if things happen, we should be able to trust the law enforcement. We should be able to trust the police. The police should be our friends. Yeah, they should enforce the law. But... Look at, look how the police are doing. Is this how to police? I think maybe the police were scared of being called racist, if they did anything. But look at my girly. Look at the, the lovely girl. Look at the stunning girl, all right? If you say you're scared of being called racist, okay, facts. She's not white, right? She's British. She's not white. We don't, I don't know her faith. No one talked about her faith because we don't care about the faith. What we care about is you how you act that is it how you act is what matters okay let's stop labeling people saying oh this faith this this that faith this 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 race did this because then we're going to divide ourselves we don't want divisions okay we want equality and right now from my whole story these people were on the wrong the police officers too were on the wrong in my opinion i'm not a judge okay i might be wrong but my own judgment says they were on the wrong okay and they should have handled it better no excuses no excuses. Yeah. Like I said, maybe they were scared of being called racist, but there's nobody anyone call you racist because once you're not white, the other guy too is not white. So which race are they gonna say you are being racist to? You're being racist to him or racist to her. Now that you guys are not even doing it correctly, you're looking racist. You know what I mean? So let's just leave it aside. Yeah, police officers. Just just do your duty, please. Huh? Oh, I love you more than words can say. Shining my way, you are here. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are here. Oh, you are the light that shines in my way.